in this module we'll be working with dollar yield and first module we used um, dollar yield to determine the relationship between one unit of a particular item and gross sale in this unit we'll be looking at the relationship between one dollar in gross sale and the unit of any item we will need three specific categories of numbers to work with the dollar yield one historical sales that is historical gross sales we will need two the number of unit of production input that is as in a specific item input and we'll call this item A and C or number three our projected gross sales in the first unit we will use the same unit the numbers in this unit as we did in the first so um, we had um, historical gross sale of thirty thousand dollars we have units used was 500 of item A and we had projected sale gross sale or revenue of twenty five thousand dollars and this process we're really trying to get at is number of item A that is required or needed to make twenty five thousand dollars gross sale assuming that from an historical perspective we use 500 units of item A to achieve thirty thousand dollars in sales very simple formula what we'll do here is here's the formula we'll divide number of units U-N-I-T-S units used divided by the gross sale and in this case this is the historical information and we'll multiply this by our projected sales and let's substitute number of units sold 500 divided by gross sale thirty thousand dollars and this multiply by our projected sale of twenty five thousand dollars and let's do this in step all we have is five hundred divided by thirty thousand that gives us zero point zero one six 
six six let's say seven times her projected gross sale of twenty five thousand and we have four hundred and sixteen point six seven units of A. And we could, as usual, round this up to 417 units of A to achieve a gross sale of $25,000. Let's work this. Let's work another example with this. And let's assume a projected projected gross sale Let's say we're doing this for a day of six thousand dollars. Applying the formula of historical, we have this is the number of information we need. Historical gross sale. We need historical usage of product A or item A and always I recommend you get this from the sales mix this that would prevent the building in of waste or theft and three our projected sales is what which we have as six thousand dollars use the formula of historical usage divided by historical gross sale and then we multiply that by projected sales we substitute we have 500 divided by 30,000 times 6,000 what we have is 0 0.5 six seven times six thousand equals should be one hundred and let's verify that if you want to and that is correct one hundred units of item A is required to achieve gross sale of six thousand dollars now the number that's worth noting this number is our dollar yield what the relation the relationship between this number which is achieved by dividing our historical usage by our gross sale gives us this fraction or decimal this is the amount that is used theoretically to achieve one dollar in sales as usual thank you for watching and hope you've learned something